Hi there, and thanks for joining us on Philip Capital Market Watch. I'm Zixi, equity specialist from Philip Investor Center. Last week, the market suffered a huge sell-off when there is an inversion of the yield curve. This prompted fears of an upcoming recession. Today, we will be looking at what is the inverted yield curve, the significance of it, and the historical data of yield curve and recession. Firstly, we have to understand the inverse relationship between bond yield and price. Given that the bond coupon payment is fixed, when there is a higher demand for bond, bond price increases and this causes the bond yield to fall. In the normal scenario, longer term bonds have a higher yield as investor funds are locked up for a longer period and they have to be compensated for the risk. The yield curve inversion has preceded every of the US recession since 1955. Hence, investors see the yield curve inversion as an indication of an upcoming recession. The inverted yield curve happens when the short-term interest rate is higher than the long-term interest rate in the bond market. This implies that people are negative about the short-term outlook and they are moving into safer long-term bonds, pushing down the long-term yield. This results in an outflow from short-term bond to long-term bonds, causing the long-term bond price to rise and pushing down the yield. However, investors should note that it is not certain that a recession will occur. The current climate of global quantitative easing, central banks globally have brought up government bonds and this play a role in pushing down long-term yield. Just last week, the US 10-year Treasury bond yield falls below that of the 2 years yield, triggering fears of an upcoming recession. The inverted yield curve can be a cause of concern as investors are worried about future economic growth and are demanding for safe long-term bonds, pushing down long-term yield. The inversion of the yield curve has preceded each of the past five recessions. While this may be a cause of concern, there is no need to panic. Based on historical data, past recessions started on average around 20 months after the inversion of the yield curve. On the positive side, the S&P 500 on average went up 12% a year after the inversion. In conclusion, do bear in mind that the yield curve inversion is not a precondition for the recession. It is a signal which investors are looking out for due to historical significance in predicting a recession. That's all for Philip Capital Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Tell us what you think. What are your thoughts on the inversion of U curve? Do you think that a recession is coming? Leave your comments. Thanks for joining us and see you soon.